Hey, and welcome to a special edition of Cooking All of Quarantine. I'm Jason, and today we're going to make a cheeseburger in paradise. All right, so we're doing something a little different here at Cooking All of Quarantine. Um, my wife got sick, and literally she's been quarantined out in the camper for like seven days. Um, don't feel bad. Our camper is nicer than her first apartment, so she's got all the golden girls and everything that she's been watching. And, uh, you know, I've been worrying the crap out of her, asking her how she feels. Her temperature went down. She got tested for COVID. She's negative. We got two more days. And I, thank God, am not feeling any symptoms. Because let me tell you folks, if I get the man flu, it's bad, let alone this sh stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cheeseburger in paradise. You know, I looked up a recipe and yeah, I just touched my face, but I looked up a recipe for Jimmy Buffett's cheeseburger in paradise, I figured, Somebody had analyzed the lyrics. It's a damn casserole, you know? So I'm gonna make my own cheeseburger in paradise. Uh, we're not gonna use American cheese because we don't use that in this house. And unfortunately, because of the price of beef going through the roof, among everything else, um, we're gonna use venison. Dear me, for us in Pennsylvania, but venison. How can you do that? Oh my God, it's Bambi's mom. Real simple. Click, boom, and done. Uh, I've got two eggs, some onions, some uh, free range garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add probably a half cup of panko and a pound of deer meat. And we're going to mix it up, form it up, and make it into a cheeseburger in paradise. So anyway, like I said, it's been one of those weird weeks down here at the ranch. And, uh, you know, luckily my wife, you know, tested negative and uh, she's getting over it. But um, she wanted a cheeseburger. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go get a cheeseburger. I thought to myself, why would I go get one when I can build one better and faster and stronger than anything else? That sounds like a thing for the $6 million man, but we could call it the $6 million cheeseburger. So what I did was I mixed stuff up here and I'm, I'm really trying to take pictures and stuff, but I mixed up the burger, it's, it's set, it's ready to go. We're gonna put it on the pan here. I'm gonna add some real cheese. We're gonna toast up some potato rolls and we'll serve it that way. Now, normally I like hand cut fries, but eh, you know, they had asparagus on sale. So uh, I'm gonna have some nice steamed asparagus to go with it. And uh, I made some more pasta salad. What can I say? So. We'll be back. So a trick I learned a long time ago at Lee's Drive-In was to get the pan really hot, slam it on there, and then steam the cheese. I'll show you what I mean. But uh, don't worry, it'll be a $6 million cheeseburger in paradise. Look at those monstrosities of hamburgers, perfectly hand-formed. Not the prettiest things, but I'm sure they're going to taste just great. Now see, check that out. I put it under the glass over there. On top of it, like, like that. And got the cheese all nice and melted. Now we're just going to turn it off, let it sit. Got Stacy's squash over there. 